Here in Alaska, heating is a huge expense. You can save money by making your house cooler while you're away and while you're asleep. A programmable thermostat makes these temperature adjustments automatically. This video will show you how to replace your old thermostat with a new programmable one. It's easy if you follow these steps. Here's what you'll need. A programmable thermostat, which will cost you anywhere from $29 on up. A pencil or pen. A small level. Some tape or sticky labels. A hammer and an eight-penny nail. And a few screwdrivers. Step 1. Turn off the power to your heating unit. This may be found inside your breaker panel, on the wall near your boiler, or mounted on the side of your forced air unit. Step 2. Remove the existing thermostat from the wall. Old analog models usually have a faceplate that pulls off. The newer models have a locking tab on the bottom that you push to release the thermostat. Use your large screwdriver to remove the thermostat and its mounting bracket from the wall. Label each wire before you remove it from the old thermostat. This is very important. Some new thermostats come with pre-printed labels to make this task easier. Then use a small screwdriver to disconnect the wires from the terminals. To keep the wires from falling back into the wall, wrap them around the pencil or pen. Step 3. Mount the plate on the wall. Nearly all new thermostats come with a separate mounting plate. Detach the thermostat from the plate by pressing the tab at the bottom of the unit and pulling up. Set the thermostat aside. Position the mounting plate on the wall. There should be plenty of room to poke the wires through the center of the plate. Using a small torpedo level, position the plate where you want it on the wall. You may be able to reuse one or both of the holes from your previous installation. Otherwise, mark the spots where you want your mounting screws to go. Use the supplied screws and mount the plate to the wall. It's a good idea to check the level once again before you completely tighten the screws. Step 4. Connect the wires to the mounting plate. In most cases, the letters you marked on the wires should match up with the letters on the plate. If not, consult the instruction book that came with the thermostat. Step 5. Snap the thermostat into the mounting plate. Insert fresh batteries into the slot. Flip the power switch on your furnace and test the thermostat by raising and lowering the temperature. Step 6 is the most important one of all. Your new thermostat won't save you one penny if you don't program it. Follow the instructions that came with your unit. If you're not technically inclined, ask a friend to help you. The idea is to keep the house warmer when you're at home and active and to keep it cooler when you're away or asleep. Set an overnight temperature of 60 degrees or cooler. Then set the heat to rise half an hour before you get up. Set a lower temperature during the day while you're at work. Then set the heat to rise again half an hour before you get home. The cycle will repeat itself, saving you money by day and by night. You can stay warm and save energy by setting the overnight temperature in the house to 60 degrees and warming your bed with an electric blanket or a thick down comforter. And remember, most analog thermostats contain mercury, which is a hazardous substance. Be sure to dispose of them properly. A programmable thermostat can pay for itself in as little as a month, and the savings add up year after year. Esther has the power to use less, and so do you. Go to gvea.com save for more energy-saving tips. And while you're there, sign up for the HomeSense Energy Audit.